I pray that you understand and fully comprehend who you are in Christ Jesus, that you know and believe that you are the head and not the tail, that you are above and never beneath, that you are light and not darkness, peace and not confusion. I pray that you know that you are joy and never sorrow, success and not failure, grace lines your pathway and mercy upholds your life, purpose determines your destiny. I pray that you understand who you are in God. O oh, lack cannot and shall not be your portion, for you are a child of the King, and your way shall grow brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. God's favor is your portion. God's joy is your strength. Though I pray that you understand who you are in Christ Jesus. Therefore, no lack, no want shall be your portion. I rebuke the spirit of lack, therefore, from your life the spirit of subjugation and poverty. I rebuke those things and people that seek to abuse and use you, demean and degrade you, for you are God's chosen, the apple of his eye, the reason why he sent his son, Christ Jesus. Oh, I pray, I pray that you believe and know and fully comprehend who you are in Christ Jesus, the greater Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That the angels, God's angels, they encamp around you. Oh, I pray that you believe and that you know and that you fully comprehend who you are and be fully persuaded that there isn't anything, there isn't anyone that can stop, prevent or deter the blessings that God has commanded on your life. For you are God's and God is yours. The Almighty God, God who brought Israel through the Red Sea and caused Moses to defeat Pharaoh. God who brought a giant down under David's feet and turned an orphan, Esther, into a queen. God, this God, your God, is on your side, standing with you, standing for you. He held the mouths of lions for Daniel for a night. He took the heat out of the flames of a fiery furnace for the Hebrew boys. He turned water into wine and dried up a 12-year issue of blood for a woman. This God is your God standing by your side, your guide, your sword, and your shield. Devils can't stop you. Demons can't defeat you. You are blessed. You are favored. You are kept and you are covered by the Eternal One, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, God, the Eternal One, Jesus. Oh, I pray you see, you believe, you know, you recognize beyond a shadow of a doubt, that even in your current crisis, that he is with you, beyond your present pain, beyond your troubles and your trials, beyond your fears, that you hear and that you know, and that you receive in the depth of your soul, that you are blessed, unstoppable, unquenchable, and undefeatable. You are free that you are no more a slave to regret, to fear, to guilt, or to shame, for whom the Son set free is free indeed, that you are free in Christ Jesus. You are free, free to live, free to walk, free to believe, free to stand, free, free to conquer, and yet to conquer. You, angels encamp about you, Demons tremble at your presence. You are God's. The eternal God is your God. He stands for you. He knows you by name. 
Your name is written in the palm of his hand. You are his. He will move mountains for you, bring up valleys under your feet. You are God's, his beloved, his loved. You are God's. He has commanded your day, your morning. He has given strength to your life, hope to your days, joy to your nights, peace to your existence. You, you are God's. There is nothing he won't do for you. No battle he won't fight for you. No victory he won't win for you. You, you are God's. I pray you believe this, receive this, stand in this, walk in this, be strong in this, that you are never alone, for he is with you. He is your Emmanuel. He is your God. He has hidden you in him. And though the storms blow and the waves rage, you shall not be drowned. God will not allow it to overcome you. God will uphold you with his righteous right hand. He will sustain and keep you and command that all warring cease around you, about you. Oh, I pray that you find confidence to stand and to withstand, run and not be weary, that you walk and not faint. I pray that your eyes look up and not down, that your heart be encouraged and not discouraged. Oh, I pray, I pray that you find strength to get up, to stand up, to be up, to look up, to believe up. Oh, I pray, I pray that you believe, that you believe in who you are in him, who he says you are. Oh, I pray, I pray that doubts be a thing of your past, that it find no place in your spirit and that fear, fear no longer finds residence in your heart and that you know, and that you know joy and gladness and that you find strength that only comes from above, only comes from God and that joy rule your days and peace your nights and that you lay your head down in peace and that you raise up in power. Oh, I pray. I pray you believe. I pray you believe. I pray you believe that you are who your father says you are, fearfully and wonderfully made, the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. Oh, I pray.